Real Talk Onslaught, welcome to the Gauntlet, I'm your host Boss Baker, We're getting into our second battle yeah, of the Gauntlet the card at the moment. Alright, on my right, everyone make some noise for just a game. Yeah. And to my left, making another return, everyone make some noise for Sage Moon. Sage Moon! Happy birthday Lenny! Alright, we did the coin toss off camera. Just a game won that, and he's chosen for Sage to go first. So let's get that first round on Sage. See, you're just a game, and I can't stand your music. You rappers like the graphics on a Nintendo Cube. Shit, you're a bitch. So here's a tampon, bro. So don't mess with Sage Moon, cause I control your menstrual flow. You dance with dime, your bent with flow, predictable like Homer Simpson. Don't. Your sentences don't even keep in time with a tempo of a metronome. You're a metronome. I bet you wear a mask because you got an ass for a face like Jason. Really? He hates the disc. Came in with a catheter attached to his face just to take the piss. Do you always act like this? If so, you're a major Sid, cuz. I bet your label feels like babysitters. He dressed up like that famous bitch with a dick. They should call him Lady Giggle. He became a rebel that paid the pigs so he could walk around his cage in pink. I bet you when he looked in the mirror, he never saw a Caucasian kid. Like, wake up, Macamore. Nobody trusts a cunt because he switched sides like that David Hicks. Ha. Oh. I was gonna give him shit about his fucking lady chick, but she don't got one either, cause he's got a baby's dick. He's a little Asian test, Asian test, he's easy rapist, victim tasting lace sandwiches back at cause he's subway place just so we can get a famous face in his Facebook pictures fag. You're an anus skid mark that just got cleaned up and you get picked on on suckshit.com. That's oh. yours. My name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make some noise for that round. Let's get the first round on Josh again. Yeah, what's up, Moonface? You're a fuckhead. You look like you went on an acid trip and you got stuck there. You look like you look like one of those weird cunts on the internet doing stunts to get fame. Yeah, he recreated two girls, one cup with his brother. Said it was great. They, they were so fucking happy they named it shit on my face. Until one night his mum was on her laptop just browsing. Came across a video, thought it was something quite arousing. But then she watched a little more of the hit clip shit on my face and to her disgust saw your brother with your shit on his fucking face. So now it's obvious. Everything coming out of your mouth will be shit. And no one's taking you seriously because you dress like a fuckwit. But I can see beyond that brave face. See, I'm trying to be your mate. But when you date rape yourself and go to the gay club, it's fate. I got nothing against gay people. I got nothing against gay people, but this dude thinks he's um, but this dude thinks he's straight. So his reason to drop a date rape can only be to get raped. The rape drug he's thinking? Well, I thought it was a rap drug. I thought it'd make me a better rapper and I'd go rap at the gay club. Well, now you got a sore bum. So get back in line and settling to go collect your Fortnite. On the way home in your car, talking to yourself in the mirror like, come on, Moonzilla. Show these people what you're made of. Get down to the rap club and show everyone you're not a gay cunt. But we all know you are. Time. Time. Alright, right, it's like this. When you oh, see no. your babe, can you tell her I said hey and tell her that I reminisce that shape of a gay gland. Mr. Taste, mmm, date jam. But I'm still pissed off because I got clarid on my favourite apron. You find just a game at that place to den. They use your face for the scent. Or just get on the internet and type in gay men. I love all the battles you never went in. You're demented like Alan DeGeneres before she went Les. You're the Brady Bunch's 10th kid. And look, it's like this. Mum jokes, ha, huh. my mum's delish, but yours is shit, my taste buds like, here we go, suck my arm up a dump dish, dumb bitch coming on my armpit, and she loves it when I chuck the starfish, like, wop, whip, wop, whip, and it's like, ha, I gotta clean the claw, I gotta clean the claw, come to think about it, can you give her a fucking call, the wood does need another varnish, come to think about it, the fart lips stink like shit, it's a cunt wreck carnage, done her in the kitchen while she's done my fucking ditches, I don't give a fuck her sitting there feeling with that clitoris while she scratched that chlamydia I can't itch. Tom. Let's get that next round on just a game. Yay. You seem like some prick who thinks the world owes you something. Well, it doesn't. So shut up and stop twitching like a drug fiend. You know your life's <laughs> fucked up when your ambitions are to get clean. So step up, champ. Yeah. Stop walking down the road like some staunch cunt who's not staunch or picks, kids, picks on kids who aren't grown. This is a shout out to the little guys who like to watch life pass by when you got dickheads like you on the street yelling, give me a cigarette or you're gonna die, you cunt. <laughs> it's like, calm down, you're so awkward. He shoots up and he keeps talking. Hip hop's your life. Running around the park in the AM yelling, 360's a sellout and Sage Moon is a legend. <laughs> Worthy cunt. You were always the first one growing up ready to get in a fight. The first little dumb cunt ready to pick up a pipe. 
Oh, fuck. The first little dumb cunt ready to pick up a pipe. Well, now you're on Centrelink, a walking exhibition of a tour. Ladies and gentlemen, the definition of peaked in high school. He gets he gets hard over musicals and likes to poo in the urinal. A useless excuse for a human too. There's nothing that he can do. So keep your day job, Mr. Moon, because this ship has sailed. Your rapping is more awkward than your mum getting railed. And believe me, I would know. I took Mrs. Moon out on a date, but then she asked me to come home and if I could shit on her face. No thanks. <laughs> oh. Alright, last round on stage, Moon. Right. Make some noise, people! Oh, yeah. 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 This is just a gauntlet. Wait for the real battles happen. Gauntlet. Alright, uh, beat his rock. Okay, um. Alright. I was born from ancient corpses spawned by hatred. Lord, fuck my mother. I was born from rape and Satan's making plans. He probably laughs at carcinogamy. Carcinogamy. What could be worse? A curse of wannabe with a beanie? Ha! Look at this bodily fluid margarita while we dance in hell. What's this retard? Neanderthal. Three hands can't help him ejaculate. Jacket wrapped, whacking three packs a days. Immaculate accident when my hatchet hacks at your face. Speak of shit, but maybe you just like it taste. Scared of back and sage like stare square pattern face like that little curse want to be got a fucking back here, mate. And it's like, we won't leave. She needs us like that fetus needs to breathe. This little fetus needs to lead. And it's like, everybody put your hands up if you don't want to be part of this man's chandelier. Okay, let's paint the place red. You're the main piece. Scorch your gay grin, screaming to your white grandal. This octopus, it couldn't make sense with a page and eight pencils. This isn't fucking a battle. This is evolution. I'm eight tamping. Face dent in the lane as a head break ten pins. Time. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, last round on Just the Game, let's get it! Did you know that Sage Moon is actually from the moon? Did you know he has moon boots, moon pets and moon food? Like, that's the coolest thing ever! Who wouldn't want to live like that? But this cunt is so dumb he traded it all for battle rap! So welcome to the real world! I know you're not from around here! Let me tell you a few things that you've done wrong since you've been down here! First of all, you can't rap, you're an awkward cunt, you're strange, you smell bad, you dress bad, you look sad, you resemble a fucking lad, your girlfriend is fat, but don't act mad cause you can't control that! Cute couple though, you and your girl are perfect for each other! Her whale-like figure makes her the perfect lover! Like, you can't go out to dinner or be seen in public with her But when you're eating chicken off her chest, you know you found yourself a winner <laughs> But let's get real here, I'm gonna tell everyone about your secrets He likes Star Wars porn and Darth Vader is his weakness How cliche, but it's a fetish his girlfriend can enjoy too Cause to put your dick near that thing, I'm sure the Force needs to be with you <laughs> Sorry about your life, but it's best we tell you soon. Bro, Darth Vader is not your father and you're not from the fucking moon. <laughs> Go on. Uh, make some noise for that battle! Yeah. Let's go, judges. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, real talk gauntlet, onslaught. We just had a dope second battle out of the card. Uh, we just came back from a judge's decision. Really fucking close. Judges edge that one, two, one to my man Sage. Yeah. I just watched uh, Savage Moon and Just a Game. I'm gonna slowly edge it to Savage Moon. Giving the first round, second was sort of close. Slightly maybe edge it to Savage. Uh, I'll give it to. I'll give the third round to uh, Just a Game. But yeah, just just slightly, just slightly. It was fucking good battle though. It was good. Scandal, roll that one out to what? I just watched Sage Moon versus Just a Game. Another real talk gauntlet battle. I'm uh, gonna give that 2 1 Sage Moon. Sick battle, but I just edged it, man. It was a sick battle, though. Big up, boys. Big ups. Sage Moon versus Just a Game. Fucking close battle, man. It's hard to call. Sage Moon had that raw shit. Just a Game had all those jokes and that. Funny cunt. I think. It was, it was a tie going into the third, and I think just a game sort of just edged him at the end there, so I'll give it to just a game, so yeah.